Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, water is a shared responsibility and a shared resource. The world's growing population will increase the demand for water, and this call calls for water-wise innovations. We need new thinking, new ways, and new technologies in order to manage water usage in a sustainable manner. The private sector has an important role. They have the competence, the technology, and the investment ability. Responsible water uses, usage is a competitive advantage and will pay off for sustainable businesses uh, and uh, for new innovations. We need to use this dynamic, dynamic force and come up with innovation, innovative solutions for water usage to redo, reuse, reduce, and recycle. Let me give you an example of a Swedish water-wise innovation that actually comes from my hometown. One company has created a closed-loop shower that recirculates and purifies the water with a technology developed initially for space exploration. It enables water and energy savings up to 90% compared to conventional showers. It's both reducing and reusing water. Another example of a wise water solution is a Swedish company that has developed a solution to extract dissolved heavy metals in water. Water from mines, industries, and uh, with industrial waste, of water waste or acids, and from energy plants. To enhance this development, the Swedish Environmental Protection Agency has received an assignment from us in the government to promote urban innovations based on the strategic use of the state-of-art technologies and advanced system, so system solutions. We believe, thank you. we believe that new water innovations will be an important part of new solutions that could be the result of this assignment. Of particular importance are innovative business models and system integrations in the, of the reuse of water, innovative state-of-the-art technologies for water purification, new digital tools for monitoring of water consumption and demand management, integrated urban management is fundamental to the health and equity of our cities. As an example of the local scale, I want to mention experience from my post former position as a deputy mayor in the city of Malmö. Through partnership and working with sustainable wastewater solutions, especially new innovative solutions for stormwater, we transformed one of the most socioeconomic exposed and vulnerable areas in Malmö into a promising living area without increasing the cost of housing. To face the challenges, we've worked in different measures in a holistic way with, to regards with both ecology, economy, and social aspects. Climate change is a challenge of our generation. Water crisis and climate changes are tightly interlinked. Reforced efforts are needed. There's a great need to identify risks and vulnerabilities. Knowledge about climate change and its effects on society must increase. Preventive measure, measures are much more cost efficient than reactive. Smart, waterproof climate investments will pay off uh, in several ways. Therefore, a natural center for climate adaptation is uh, permanently established in Sweden. It has the task to collect, compile, and make available, available knowledge on climate change and adaptation. A 
a national elevation model will make sure that the knowledge to take right decisions and effective, effective measures against changing water patterns. Water is a necessity of life and an engine for development. By raising awareness of the ecosystem, ecosystem services that water serves us all with, it comes clear that sustainable water management is paying off and is a good investment. Without addressing the water issue, we cannot probably address poverty. All production and economic development on this blue planet fundamentally depends on water. With no water, no life. Without blue, no green. The consequences of environmental and climate degradation affects women and children the most. We need progress in all mentioned areas to improve the living conditions, not the least for women and girls. We all face challenges with increased need of water. Innovation and cooperation will be essential as we join forces and secure a more prosperous future for our children. We must do this. We must do it together, and we will. Finally, as the World Water Week of 2016 draws to its end, on the behalf of the Swedish government, I, and many of us that have had the privilege to be here these days and listen to top experts and leaders in the water field, let me express my sincere appreciation for the Swedish Stockholm International Water Institute and all their co-conveners co for organizing this important event. And, of course, I would like to invite all of you to come back to Stockholm next year and hope to see you then. Thank you. Thank you.